Welcome back and now we have a decent information on how to use Power BI. Now we can move to our first target and that is the preparation of profit and loss statement. And for that we can actually make a new dashboard here and you know we can start right from scratch by clicking here and that is a complete new dashboard and we can start building our profit and loss or we can simply duplicate this previous dashboard and we can make the adjustments as needed and that is something that I'm going to do now so I will click I will right click on this page here and I will click on duplicate page and now you can see that we have duplicate of page one so I will call page one now as sales and now the duplicate of page one I will rename it as P and L okay so now on the PNL I don't really want to see these charts here so I'll click on this one and I will delete I'll click on this one and I will delete I will keep my slicers so that you know my uh, I, I can qu quickly slice my PNL as well or you can delete it here as well and you can you know uh, bring it back again whenever you need and now I will use this matrix here uh, well you can simply you know start from a new matrix but the thing is I already have done some formatting for example I have changed the font size and all that so if I start right from there the things will be a bit faster for me right so you can choose any option that you like so uh, right now I'm going to move to with this one so first of all I will make sure that I remove any filter that were applied before so I will say subclass should be sales please remove this one and now you can see that your matrix is bringing in all the subclasses right now the next thing I want to do is to make sure that I only see the data which is relevant to PNL and for that we can use this filter here but now let me take you to the data and let me show you that where we have to define this uh, filter so if you look at this data closely the second column here is for report and in this report you have an, an option for balance sheet the second option is PNL where it includes all the accounts like sales and operating expenses and depreciation and interest and tax and finally we have one option of adjusting as well that is just to balance the double entry uh, please ignore that one so you, you what I need to tell my BI my matrix is that please filter the report and only bring in the values where the report is PNL let us go back and now in this filter tab here let me go to my chart of accounts and in that chart of accounts I will bring in the filter of report and in this report I will only click on profit and loss and once I have done that you will now notice that I'm only seeing those accounts which relate to profit and loss account okay and now I also want to see my data in a bit more detail not just subclass I want to see my data by class so I'll bring that here and I'll make sure the class is coming on the top so that my hierarchy works in the right manner and then we have subclass as well okay so after the class and subclass we have the subclass level 2 let us bring that as well and then we have the account level let us bring that and I will just ignore the sub account for this particular moment because I just don't want to overpopulate my data okay so now you can see that I have broadly the structure of PNL is coming up trading account is there operating is there non operating is there and interest and tax is there okay so let me expand operating account level and let me expand the operating expenses in a bit more detail and now once you have done this kind of expansion this level of expansion the next thing that we need to do let me expand this one as well and let me expand this one as well right so now that we have expanded our PNL now what we need to do is to sort our PNL in the right manner <laughs> the way the PNL is presented I mean the sales followed by the cost of sales and then operating operating expenses and then non operating and then interest and tax let us do that now this part is going to be a bit tricky so please watch very closely so first of all uh, please click on these dots here and now let us go to sort by and in this sort by click on class okay and once you have done that you can see that our PNL at least at the class level PNL is in the right order and that is trading account followed by operating followed by non operating and followed by interest and tax now the second problem is we just don't need to uh, sort at the class level 
we also need to sort at the subclass and what i mean is we know that in the pnl sales are presented on the top and then cost of sales comes after that and the problem is in the power bi there is no multiple level sorting option available so we will be using rather a trick for that and that trick is once you have done so much sorting just go and click on class the sorting has been changed and now just click on that one more time and now you can see that your sorting has been done properly so this is just a trick this is not uh, you know the, this is not a feature of power bi this is just a trick and it works every single time so now you can see that we have our sales followed by cost of sales and then we have operating expenses then we have depreciation and amortization and then we have non-operating and then we have finally interest and tax and let me show you that now this sorting has been done at multiple levels so if i go here and i click on sort you can see that this yellow icon shows that the sorting is now applied by class and then by subclass and then by subclass too uh, but before we do this trick of you know clicking on the class and changing the sorting just make sure that you have expanded your levels to the extent you want so we clicked on the operating expenses to open these details and then we also clicked on depreciation to open these details so we should be opening all those levels up and then we should be doing this click here to obtain the sorting okay so that is the you know overall structure of pnl now let us add some more things here first of all let me add the subtotals for all of these groups so for example i want the subtotals for the trading account which should be sales minus cost of sales the gross profit uh, just to keep in mind that my expenses are already in negative so i don't have to do any extra effort to calculate my total values of gross profit and net profit so i will just click on my matrix and zoom out to go to my format options and now let us go to the subtotals and simply turn on the subtotals for the rows and once you do that you can see that we now have the subtotals for the trading account for the operating account and all other accounts that are available and also we have the subtotal we have the grand total for this uh, for the complete pnl here as well so we can actually see our net profit now for each year separately and the best part since this matrix you know on this dashboard we already have the slicers there so what will happen now if i click on slicer i can see the pnl for any country by just a click so for example if we just want to see the france just click on that and now the complete pnl has been adjusted to reflect the values of france similarly we can check the uk we can check the usa we can check the uk again and just notice that in the uk in 2020 we had made a loss so you may not have expected that when you were looking at the sales revenue right so the sales revenue was in an overall increase so let us check the canada so we can see that in the canada the profits are falling again in the year 2020 let us see australia in australia the profit is not just you know we the profit situation is quite in the worsening shape and let us check the usa well the usa is overall in a growth mode but not growing as fast as it was growing for year 2018 to 2019 it was more than the double growth right but in 2020 there is only a small growth so now we can we can check the pnl uh, by just a click of a button on any country so i will just erase these filters i will just go back to my overall data i will click on this clear selections here and now we are back to our overall pnl so thanks to bi that we can click or we can prepare our profit and loss statement in you know within five to six minutes in fact even less than that so uh, in the next lecture we are going to analyze pnl in a bit more detail like we are going to analyze gross profit and net profit and some other values let's do that